So since my last video, I've gotten more integrated in the schools, kind of taking over some more classes, really just getting more into the life of a teacher, um, kind of day-to-day -day -day routine, that kind of stuff. But for this video, I wanted to talk about more my homestay, what it's like living with my host family. Uh, in the background, you see my room. It's really nice, actually. A bit bigger than uh, my room back at the States. Definitely bigger than anything I had in college, which is pretty great. Uh, the house is actually really beautiful. Nice garden. Just a little cottage. But uh, really, I have my own room. It actually has two beds, so I've can kind of pick which one I want to sleep in. Um, I share a bathroom with just two other people. Kind of have our own side of the house for like the kids versus the adults. Um, nice common area, like a workroom, basically an office that I've been able to use for work if I wanted to. And then just a nice open kitchen. So really what I would give kind of advice if you're coming here and you want to do something like this would be pack a lot of rain gear. It's been raining a lot. Um, and everything I have is very not water resistant and the umbrella that I bought for four pounds is absolutely terrible so invest spend some money get some rain gear things like that uh, the temperature has been really nice actually I've been hearing about snow and 30 degree days but it's mostly like 50s here which is fantastic it's just because I like to get outside as much as I can um, but any other advice really is just pack what you normally pack uh, nice clothes for teaching things like that clothes to relax in, nothing special to be honest. Um, some of the excursions that I've got to go on recently with the actual like Brighton troop with the actual tour I was going to like Ryan Bodium, basically you just got to see an old castle in an old town which is really cool especially for someone who enjoys history. Uh, some of the other peers here and friends went over to Paris a couple weekends ago. I didn't go on that, I chose to save some money but I heard it was actually an amazing time. Kind of jealous I didn't go, but I already saw it, so I just, you know, I said, nah, I'll set this one out. I got some lesson planning to do things like that. Um, this weekend is the trip to Oxford and Cambridge, so that should be very interesting as well. And then I think that's actually the last one um, of the trips. There was also the trip to Bath and, St no, not Bath and Stonehenge, um, Stonehenge and the Roman Baths. That was it. Uh, and so I also heard that one really well. I stayed home from that because I was sick. <laughs> so I haven't been on too many excursions, but I have got an opportunity to travel a bunch without, uh, being here. So it's all right. Um, not too disappointed about it. The weekends are yours. You just do what you want as long as you get your lesson planning and things done. So highly recommend that as much as you can.